Sometimes I hate looking up stuff for videos like this because it gets dark and really bad. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode of History Talk. Man of the House. Nowadays, a very lighthearted way of saying, okay, this is the man that runs the house and there is a lighter... Uh, I guess not as commonly known phrase or something called Lady of the House that, you know, says the same thing about the woman. Uh, the woman. Well, I know man. I knew Man of the House was well more known, so I looked up its meaning, and oh my gosh. It led me to something that told, like, its origin, and jeez. I mean, the definition itself just means the chief male in a, in a household, which makes sense. I mean... The phrase itself kind of gives that away, but when it when the definition added the origin, date, or year in Merriam-Webster, which is 1535, I did a little bit more digging, and my goodness. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised given the year that it gave me, but the origin was very, very, very very sexist and if you were to use it in that sense nowadays it'd be just like wrong but it was for a man to tell a woman that he was above her and no <laughs> there are many reasons my why men are not above women first of all Let's go off of statistics. Women are much smarter than men are. You know that... That, that kind of joking... Um, r rhyme that basically goes... Blank goes to Jupiter to get more stupider. Blank goes to college to get more knowledge. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that started as... Men go to Jupiter to get more stupid, or women go to college to get more knowledge. To revert back to this, to, to kind of get back at this kind of phrase, because honestly, a lot more women are have gotten degrees from colleges than men have. It kind of worked at a point in a way where. I mean, this is a lot more known with races than it is with sex genders, but at a point it's kind of equivalently the same where women and men would both go to colleges, but it would be different cat it would be categorized differently and kind of like the whole a race thing from, I think it was like the mid-1800s, something like that, or earlier. It would always be frowned upon when women would know more. Because, you know, 1530s and before, women were supposed to be the ones who only did the housework and that's it. BS. Nowadays, if anybody tried to make a woman, if anybody tried to think a woman should be that way, BS. Because quite frankly... I've seen it. It's statistically proven. Women are a lot smarter than men are. If a woman ran the household instead of the man, it should not surprise anyone. Because of the fact that, quite frankly, they do a lot more work. I mean, this is personal opinion. And this, this kind of thing doesn't really impact me in any kind of way nowadays because the phrase has changed to a degree where it just says, yeah, that's the man who runs the house. And lady is at it and it's like oh yeah that's the woman who runs the house simple as that but if the original meaning was still there and still used in the way it was then I mean there are people who think otherwise and that's fine I guess my morals go completely differently but there are people though who still think the, uh, the same way that the original phrase did like the idea that like a woman should do the cleaning, a woman should do the cooking, stuff like that. Come on. I intentionally 
try to do what I can to clean up and cook whenever I can to let my to let Pink Fox like rest when she's here. Like she's been she's been away from the uh the apartment that we live in for like a few days now, staying at her parents' place. I haven't seen her since what feels like forever. And I guarantee she's going to be exhausted when she gets back. And I'm going to be like, no, you're not doing any kind of work right now. Lay down, rest. If you need something done, tell me what it is and I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, because quite frankly, that's how it should be done. It shouldn't be under the terms of the original phrase of man of the house where a man thinks over he's a woman. I do not think I'm over my fiance. In any kind of way. Actually, quite frankly, if I'm to be honest, I think personally, I don't feel it. I don't think she thinks it, but I do think it because it's kind of deserving. I think she's over me. Like, in the sense that's... Well, you know how, like, in high schools or colleges, when, you, when you're, when you like, dating originally, before any kind of labels like what Amber and I have now are created, um, and you're looking for someone, and people will go, oh, she's out of my league, or he's out of my league. The same kind of concept. Quite frankly, if she and I weren't engaged or dating or about to be married or any kind of anything like that, she's definitely out of my league because I'm not like. Well, I think it's the phrase supposed to be reversed where I'm out of her. I don't know. I always get that mixed up. I don't know if it's she's out of my league or I'm out of her league, but in the sense where she's like way better than I am. <laughs> She, the, the, she's the perfect example of if if the man of the house was a phrase that still existed to the same degree nowadays, I would never use it. She's the perfect reason why, because someone like her does not deserve the phrase like that. A phrase like that is BS. I mean, the original meaning at least. As I said, though, this is a history talk video, so it's change kind of benefits nowadays because the term man of the house nowadays is basically just a label. It's not telling anyone they're above anyone else. It is just a label. I mean, it's kind of like... It, it, that's why I said Lady of the House was one as well. It's just, it's more beneficial to look at it that way. I don't know. Personal opinion on that front, on, at least from my end. But the, the, uh, of the fact that it's better this way, and quite frankly, I th honestly do think it is, because it doesn't, it doesn't look down on anyone. Especially women who honestly... Every woman I've ever come across, or at least most women I've come across, have kind of shown me they don't deserve that. There are a couple who I've crossed paths with who are very self-centered. Now, people like that, sh I feel like, need at least some kind of push to get them out of that, but nothing may be this drastic. So they don't deserve it, but they deserve something of a strictness which if the original man of the house was still used this way I can see why that would be sexist but I can also see why it would be strict instead anyway I'm, I am still glad the phrase has changed to be more lighthearted and equivalent nowadays so that's I, I guess you guys have kind of already seen the impact on me as far as this phrase goes so I'm going to leave this video here how do you guys feel about like the differences between how that phrase is used nowadays compared to what it used to be? Um, or do you think do you, do you just agree with what I've already said? Let us know in the comments below. 
want to check out the rest of the uh, series, the History Talk series, click the link on the side of my head where you'll be taken to that. Not quite floating your boat, why not click the other link on the other side where YouTube will give you an idea of what you might enjoy watching. Not looking for that either? Check out the channel itself, uh, where you'll find a variety of vlog type things or a variety of different video game playthroughs if you'd rather have that instead. They're comedic, so don't worry. It's not like it's just watching the game only. Don't like the gameplay? Watch me and watch me be stupid. Anyway, gonna head off. Thanks again for tuning in for this video, this episode, guys. And we hope to catch you all in another. Bye for now. It's not working. I can't pause and stop. This happens a lot.